40th anniversary of the Ag Society and uh, the history is all about our forefathers and, and the people that had the insight to start this, uh, to acquire the land right in the heart of Strathmore. Uh, I think that's, that's what the, the real tribute is to, is the people. The first meeting was held in, in 1970 and this meeting was held in a room at the K old King Eddie Hotel. We, we went to purchase this land and uh, we found that, figured that the Ag Society would be the best uh, avenue to, to go to to, to, have, to own this land because it would be more inclusive to the community. I uh, came to Strathmore approximately 35 years ago and uh, met Pascal Del Grecio and uh, he was telling me about the uh, the Ag Society and, and how he'd like to get a rodeo going. I uh, came to Strathmore in 1975 looking for a place to host the mutton busting which was an idea we picked up at Innisfail and Strathmore welcomed us with open arms. So he needed a bunch of volunteers and we used to go um, get together um, a couple of three weeks before the stampede then and it was called Hooper Up Days then. And so it ran for Hooper Up Days, I don't know how long it ran but uh, we soon got a uh, complaint from Lesbridge who has hoop up days. So that's when it had to be when it was changed to heritage days. In the mid 90s, with the growth of our show, one of the big demands was seating for our spectators. We then went to work designing and planning and trying to find financing for a covered grandstand. We have a, today a 3,500 seat grandstand with suites in the middle. And this all came about from the help of a lot of locals who purchased pre-bought tickets for five years in advance and the town of Strathmore giving us a 10-year contract on one of our suites that helped us finance the grandstand that we have today. I've known Jimmy Kamart for probably 25-30 years. One of our highlights in, in our lives has been the day that he came to me and said he wanted to run some bulls down the streets of Strathmore. The idea came to me that we should do a running of the bulls kind of like Pampelona, Spain. And my idea was is that we'd run the bulls through downtown Strathmore and then out to the Ag Grounds because I knew what a great picture that would be for the media. And then we found out that that was just impossible to ensure something going through a public space like that. So everything kind of got narrowed down into an event uh, in front of the grandstand, which actually was better because now we can sell tickets to it rather than have it as a public event. The uh, first running of the Bulls, the first night, we had a record of attendance of over 9,000 people come to Strathmore. The show was delayed for an hour to an hour and a half, simply waiting for people to come in from the Transcan, the highway, all the way to our grounds and onto the ground so that nobody missed out on this inaugural show. Every year we have a volunteer banquet, which is uh, something I think is very necessary to thank the volunteers for all the hard work that they do. And after all, they work through the heat, the cold, the wind, the rain. Ag Soci Agricultural Society, as it is now, today, it basically runs on volunteers. We, when you look at the Heritage Days weekend, it's all volunteers. There's very, very few paid employees. It's uh, community, and that, that really gets the community to get together, and uh, it's enjoyed by the people of Strathmore and, and the area. Each year we have over 400, 400 volunteers that help us out, and I think with, uh, with uh, the sponsors and our volunteers, our staff, the community members, uh, as the town grows, will grow, and our future looks bright. Without the volunteers, we, we wouldn't have a show, so they're all important, and, and and then that leads to the sponsors, which is another big part of the show, our partners that, that um, see an opportunity to, uh, to help us out and we help them out with some promotion. Without the help of the volunteers, countless volunteers that help put together all of the events and the sponsors that help finance this, the shows that you see in Strathmore, whether it's Running with the Bulls, the Rodeo, the Chuck Wagons, would never be able to happen. And we thank you guys, the volunteers that put in countless hours. Thank you.